is Scott Lawton here from the Office of Learning and Teaching with a quick video for you on the draft submission of assignments uh, via your Moodle course website. Most of you would be aware that from 2013 it was a requirement by the university for all assignments to be submitted electronically through Moodle and once they're submitted through Moodle they will automatically be submitted to Turnitin. What Turnitin does is it checks every assignment uploaded to the university for originality. So it's making sure that the work that you have submitted is your original work. Now what you can expect Turnitin to find is that if you have quoted uh, any text based material, it will identify that and it will highlight it. But there is absolutely nothing for you to worry about because if you've deliberately used that information and you have referenced it, it is part of the legitimate assignment process. Where you will need to be concerned is if you get another student's assignment and copy it, or if you copy information from the web and you don't acknowledge that information, then of course that may become a plagiarism situation. But at this stage what we're checking for is originality and you should find Turnitin to be a beneficial tool to inform you of what's going on in your assignment from a comparison point of view and it will allow you to check that any of the material that you have deliberately quoted is actually referenced correctly. Alright, on your screen now is a a so-called typical uh, Moodle site here at CQ University. Now in the middle your lecturer will have laid out your site uh, differently to this. This is just a test site. In this instance there's a couple of videos that this lecturer has uploaded and then the weekly materials here. The important thing is to note that on the left hand side of the screen is that every course in CQU should look pretty much the same as this and in particular should have and must have this assessment block. The idea of the assessment block is that it would locate all of the information for each of your formal assessment items in the one place and not have information sprinkled all throughout your Moodle course. And the idea here is that at the left it's a one-stop shop where you can get your assignment information and then also submit your assignment via this point. Well, let's take a look. Now your lecturer will have laid your particular site out differently but the general idea should be much the same on each site and that is the general information about the assignment is here, how many words, when it's due. In this particular instance you click on this thing here and it will send you off for your assignment details and question, the, the full specification. Then there's some additional resources, some helpful links, and you can see there's actually live links in this document to take you off and get you the information that the lecturer thought was important. Now from about halfway down on the screen here, every Moodle site in the universe will look the same. It will have this particular message and the due date and it will have the upload section. Well, let's go ahead and upload a file and see what happens. That brings us to this screen where we upload a file. I'm going to go add, upload, choose. You see I've chosen this particular file here. Now I've created a dummy assignment file and I've filled it full of copied material. So it will deliberately return a high originality check score. In your case you won't be doing that. And we're going to upload. Now you can see the file that I uploaded just here and if you click on it it will actually download that file. You can read it. I don't want to do that. I simply want to save my changes. You can see now that you've been returned to the previous page where your assignment details were and there's a pop-up here that's reminding you now about submitting your file for marking. So at this stage your file has not been submitted for marking. You can read the warning when you get yours. We'll click on OK. 
We're going to scroll down the page here and you'll notice two things that are different to before. The first thing is that, that your assignment file and its name is here on the left. And then also the submit file for marking button is in the middle of the page. Now, I don't want to submit my file for marking at this point. I want to have a look what my similarity score is. All right, what we've done now is I've just hit refresh on my browser and this is what you see. It's grayed out the background and the front. Let's put the pop-up here again, reminding you that uh, you need to submit your file. So let's go ahead and click OK. Let's scroll down to the bottom. Now you can see next to your assignment now, there's your similarity score. It's pretty small, so you're not gonna be able to read it, but it says 96%. Now for me, I'd expect that that's correct because what I did in my assignment is I copied three distinct pieces of work that I found on the internet just to make up a dummy document to submit. But uh, let's go ahead and see now uh, what that is going to tell us. So to check your similarity score, what you do is you come and click on the word similarity and that's going to take you to a new web browser and to the Turnitin website. Right, so now what you can see once we're in turn it in is you can see your assignment here on the left and I know that in this particular case I copied three distinct publications and so you can see on the right I have one, two, three matches. Now you will have any number of matches depending on how many sources of um, information that you have used. You can also see that the letters are color coded. So you can see here number three and over here on my document, you can see number three here. So that's showing you that particular one. And if you scroll through your document, you can see this part's highlighted in red and that will of course match the red text. If you click on the highlighted text here in the middle, it will open up a pop-up window and it will show you the source document, which in this instance you can see is a web link, and it's highlighted in red, the text that has been uh, copied. Now remember that your copying could be completely legitimate because uh, you might be quoting what this particular publication has said, in which case this is an opportunity for you to make sure that your referencing is done correctly and is up to scratch. So if everything's as you expect, and in this instance I'm going to say I expected that I had those three publications in there and I'm going to say for the sake of this that I've referenced them properly, we're going to go back to our Moodle course site now and I'm ready to submit this. So I'm going to come down to submit file for marking. You see the student declaration has now come up. Uh, and we're going to accept the conditions there. And then there's a final uh, confirmation that says once you've submitted your files for marking, you'll no longer be able to delete or attach files. So you need to make sure at this point that you have everything that you need to submit in this particular document. Continue. And that's it, you're done. And you'll see the comment on the bottom of the page now that says note the assessment files listed above has been submitted for marking and cannot be updated or modified. All right, you're done now. You can forget about your assignment and wait to see your results. Thanks for watching.